Hi guys, I'm Charlie Charlie Book Fanatic and welcome to my weekly reading vlog for week 13. This week is going to be a very busy week because I have exams and I have also six books with me. Well, not technically not with me, but digital digitally with me. Um, so yeah, I have six books I want to finish slash read this week. I really like reading according to reading challenges so i also participated in an april reading challenge which i will link down below as usual so you can um participate and check on it i don't know um and i'm also doing a quarterly challenge which is running from the first of march or the first of february i believe until the end of may um so i'm really looking forward to that as well it was the 1st of March, basically, not the, the 1st of February. Let's start with the books I started reading last week and I'm planning on finishing this week. Um, the first one is The Violinist of Venice, A Story of Vivaldi by Alyssa Palumbo. This is a book about uh, a girl called Adriana D'Amato and she has a love affair with Vivaldi, which her father does not know of. And But this love affair can't go on because she has to get married to a man her father wants her to get married to because she's from a wealthy family and I am almost done with this like I'm going to finish it today like it's Monday today I'm going to finish it today and it's average like it's okay I'm not really loving it uh, because it's really fast paced and it goes through Adriana's whole life basically um so from her 18 year old self until I don't even know how old she is right now but yeah she's old <laughs> she um she matures a lot and it's pretty fast paced towards the end of the book like a lot of years are described in a couple of pages then the second book i'm currently reading is fire which is the first book in the elemental series by lb gilbert i got this review copy um and i'm not that far into it i think i'm i'm 50 pages in and i want to be 100 pages in today so i need to make some progress on that um but this is following a girl named Adriana who has um who has powers um she has elemental magic in fire specifically and there are these three other girls as well she is connected with who have earth water and i forgot the third, the fourth the fourth element wind i think yeah it's wind and um and then it's also following a guy called Alec, like it's switching a uh, viewpoint and Diana is looking for a little girl um, and Alec is looking for a little boy and their investigations intertwine and Alec is a vampire also so it's supernatural and I really don't read a lot of supernatural books anymore but yeah I'm liking it so far the writing style is really good and I did not expect to like it as much as I do and the third book I'm planning on finishing up is Dance of Shadows which is the first book in Dance of Shadows series by Yelena Black it's about a girl called Vanessa who goes to this ballet school um, this elite ballet school in uh in new york she's accepted there and her sister went there also margaret but margaret disappeared um while she was being the lead in a ballet called the firebird and there's also this other girl who acted really weirdly and who was also the lead in firebird i believe anyway um yeah so i don't know it's also average for me so far like, I don't know what to, what to really think about it. I love reading about um, about, about dancing and music and stuff like that. Like, specifically ballet, I really like reading about. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I haven't really made my mind up about this book. So these three are all books for my uh, March reading challenge. So I have until Friday to finish them because Friday is the 1st of April. So that will i will be able to do that and tomorrow which is tuesday i'm going to start the spirit thief which is the first book in the legends of eli mon press series by rachel aaron i saw this book on elena reads books channel and i really like the premise of it so i added it to my tbr and now i'm planning on reading it this week and i'm really looking forward to that and this book is about a guy called eli mon press who is a thief and also a wizard in this fantasy world and he has two, these two partners and he wants to increase the bounty on his head by 
a little bit only a little bit by kidnapping a king then for my april reading challenge which obviously starts friday i'm going to read fragile by eve francis and this book is an lgbtq plus new adult book it's about a lesbian relationship i believe um it's about a girl called Carly who is stuck in her life if she's going from one minimum wage job to another and then she meets Ashley who she is in a, in a book club with and which I think is really cool but um, by the way and they start to get to know each other and their past and obviously they fall in love with each other because it's an LGBT book but I love LGBT books and I honestly can't wait to start this because it's been a while be uh, since I've read about LGBT themes um i don't think i've even ever read a lesbian relationship but don't quote me on that i might be wrong on that but i think i've only read about um homosexual relationships and not really per se lesbian relationships so i'm really really excited there's also a review copy i got by the way so a review will be up for that somewhere this month or next month somewhere and the last book uh, the second book I'm going to read in April for my April reading challenge is also a review copy and that is Away We Go by Emil Ostrovsky. And this book is about a school called Westing but there is like one particular thing you need to have before you get into the school and you need to be dying to get into Westing. So it's about these two guys and a girl. Um, it's about an a guy called Noah who has a girlfriend Alice and then his best friend which I forgot the name of right now but they all know they're dying and they're all going to this school obviously and Noah and his best friend meet uh, a guy called Zach and their whole life ch uh, changes because of him and they're trying to make the most of their shortened existences um, their shortened lifespans but this is also an LGBTQ plus book, like it says in the synopsis Noah may or may not be in love with Zach and a homosexual relationship. I did not pick these books, like I did not have a theme in mind with these books guys, I did not, I, like I just found out it was an LGBTQ plus book because I did not remember that but I'm really excited, I'm really excited, I love these kind of books, like contemporary, on point, yes. Hi guys, I just got home from having exams like literally all day. Um. But I finished The Violinist of Venice, I think it's Wento by the way, I didn't know if I already said that But I finished The Violinist of Venice on Monday I believe And I love the second half more than I love the first half as usual We'll link my review down below um, But I didn't know what to think about it for the first half of the book Because I didn't really enjoy Adriana's relationship with Vivaldi Which was the book basically, that was what the book was about um, but I didn't like Vivaldi's character, I imagined him as a really old man and v and Adriana was this 18 year old teenager basically and I just, I couldn't ship it but I like the second half a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more um, because it was about Adriana mostly and how she matured and her relationships then and not really about Adriana and Vivaldi anymore Like, I literally just know I have spaghetti sauce all over my face <laughs> because I started vlogging. Okay, anyway. Um, do you remember? I said Dance of Shadows was only average. Well, I gave it four stars. How to find? Yes. Because. Um, the first half was just boring. Like, honestly, I'm, I just thought, like, is this, this everything? And then the second half came. And I was like, <gasps> oh my god. What are you talking about? What is happening? What is going on? What are you even saying? Like, some people predicted this would happen. Like, this would be the direction in which the story would go. I wasn't one of those people. I was like, I have to say, this book has a paranormal twist to it, which I did not know before going into the book. I just thought this was a dance novel, a contemporary dance novel, where this girl, Vanessa, would go out to look for her sister at an elite ballet school. That was not what it turned out to be. And also, she didn't even find a fucking sister at the end of the book. Like, <laughs> she didn't. She didn't. She... I have something stuck between my teeth. Oh my god, that is really embarrassing. Okay, that took a while, but I got it out. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, I was just in a rant about Dance of Shadows. Um, yeah, so, this was a paranormal book. Like, it had a poor paranormal aspect to it. 
And at the end of the book, I just, I closed the book. Like, I read it digitally, but still, I closed the book digitally, you know? Like, and I was like, what in the fucking F did I just read? Yeah, and I did say just fucking F. Like, honestly, I just, what was this book? I didn't like Vanessa, though, much. Like, there are two guys in this book. Like, one is called Zeppelin or Zepp, like, which is the worst fucking name in the entire universe. But, and the other guy was called Justin. And Justin was trying to warn her away from Zepp, like, that he was, that he was dangerous and that he wasn't the guy who he said he was. And Vanessa was the whole fucking book, even though clues pointed in a direction that Zeppelin, Zepp, was dangerous. She was just like, no, he's the most perfect guy in the entire world. What are you talking about? You're just jealous of Zepp? Like, you just want to be with me? He, he didn't do anything wrong. He's amazing. He's perfect. He has, he doesn't have any flaws. Well, Zepp didn't even reply to her fucking texts. Or, like avoided her for no reason at all like what but i still gave it four out of five stars because honestly that ending that ending like it blew me out of the water it's currently saturday and it's april 2nd and i started reading some other books obviously i'm currently reading spirit thief which i started tuesday um and i started yesterday away we go by emil ostrovsky um, which is an LGBTQ plus book, and it reminds me so much of Benjamin Ali Ressens. Like, honestly, he's one of my favorite authors ever. He wrote Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe. And um, Emil Ostrovsky's writing style really reminds me of him, and it's so good. Like, honestly, the things I've read so far, I, I love it. I can't wait to read on. And I don't know if he brought out any other books, but if I like this one, I might want to look into that. And the other book I started reading is Fragile by E. Francis. I also started that one yesterday. And it's also an LGBTQ plus book and it's about a main character who is a lesbian and is very confident with herself and her sexuality, has come out of the closet, is just confident with herself. And I really like that, like that is something that is pre-established. Um, but there's also another LGBTQ plus element in this, and that is that the main character's best friend, who's called Lendon, is transgender. He was Lisa when he was younger, and now he is Lendon since the end of high school somewhere. And the main character um, fell out with Lisa at the end of high school because Lisa was backing away from the main character. And um, the main character went off to college, and when she came back from college, her best friend, or her past best friend, Lisa, was certainly London. So she came back, and the best friend was certainly a male. Um, so that's really interesting to hear about and to read about, like, because I did not know that would actually happen. I don't know if that is in the synopsis or not, but it's set at the beginning of the book, like, it's, it's fairly early in the book. Um, but I thought it was really interesting that the main character isn't only a lesbian, but her best friend is um, is, a, is a transgender. Guys, I'm currently recording my Let's Play videos for Mass Effect, which um, won't, which you won't, which you probably didn't see because the first episode is going to go up tomorrow, which is Monday. Um, it's Sunday today, by the way. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be recording Let's Plays, which I'm really excited about. But what? back to the books because this is a reading vlog um so basically i have finished in total five books this week um most of which i started last week obviously so i have finished this week the spirit thief i'm going to finish away we go by emil ostrovsky today um which makes it five um dance of shadows i have finished um the Violinist of Venice I have finished, and something else, which I probably already mentioned in this vlog, but I currently forgot. Then I'm currently reading Away We Go, which I will finish, obviously, today. And then I'm also reading Fragile, which is another review copy I have. So I'm currently reading two books, and I'm going to start um, reading another one tomorrow. I'm not going to start another one today. Um, so yeah, I had a pretty good reading week, actually. I read i i fulfilled all my goals basically i did everything i wanted to do this week and i had my exams this week so five books is really really good while still 
um, studying for exams and going to exams and uh, yeah, I just feel really, really happy about this about this uh, last week. Also, really sorry for the background, but I'm in front of my computer and the room looks like this. This is my brother's bedroom because the computer is in his bedroom. But anyway, so I'm going to end this reading vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. It's probably going to be very long, but that doesn't matter. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know down below if you enjoyed it. Um, do you want to read any of these books? Um, are you interested in any of these books? What did you read this last week? Uh, let me know down below. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!